Hey Cole, we're going to do a neuromuscular uh, assessment today. First we're just going to look at your shoulders. So first I'm just inspecting the overall look of his shoulders, making sure that they're symmetrical. Um, so then I'm going to palpate them, make sure there's no masses or anything on them. So Colton, I'm going to have you do some range of motion exercises here. First I want you to just bring your arms up. We're going to check abduction. So, okay, good. Can you bring your arms behind you now? Good. I'm going to have you bring your arms in circles just very slowly. We're checking circumduction. Good. Okay. Can you bring your arms back down to your side? I'm going to have you do the same thing and bring your arms back out to your sides but against resistance now. Does that hurt at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now try to bring them back down to your sides. Does that hurt? Okay. Good. Now I'm just going to check your elbows, Colton. So first I'm just feeling your uh, electronin process. Mm -hmm. Mr. King, sorry. Uh, I'm going to feel your electronin process for any um, masses or nodules. Then I'm going to have you do some more range of motion, okay? So with your elbows, can you um, flex them towards your body? Good. And then just extend them away. I'm going to have you do the same thing again with resistance. Can you flex them towards your body? Does that hurt at all? Okay. Extend them away. Does that hurt? Good. Okay, flex towards your body again, extend, good. Now I'm just going to check your wrists, making sure there's no nodules or masses, your fingers. Okay, we're going to do range of motion in your wrists now, okay? So I want you to flex your wrists towards yourself, now away, side to side. Does any of that hurt? A little bit, actually. No popping. Can you do it while I'm just got my hands hovering over you? Mm -hmm. A little bit of crepitus. Okay. Good. Okay, now Colton, I'm going to have you stand up and hold the side of the bed. We're going to move on to your hips, okay? So, just while turning sideways and holding the bed, I'm going to have you, with one of your legs, hold your leg out and uh, just one of your legs forward. Good. Now backwards. And then you can turn sideways again and uh, go sideways with your leg, okay? Good. We're going to do the same thing with the other leg. Okay, forward. Good. Backwards. And then out. Okay, you can take a seat again, Colton. Okay, I'm going to check your knees now. I'm just going to have you... I'm going to hover my hand on your knee just to make sure there's no popping, but I'm going to have you extend your knee out. Good, now bring it back down. So I'm checking the range of motion and making sure there's no popping going on in that joint. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Good. Okay. I'm just going to check. Um, Colton, I'm going to have you bring this leg up. I'll show you. I want you to bring this heel up to your shin on this leg. And I want you to slide that heel down your shin, okay? Good. I'm going to have you do the same thing with the other leg, okay? Okay. Now we're going to check your ankles. I'm just going to have you bring your ankles up towards yourself, so flex them towards your body. Good. Okay. Do the same thing with your other foot. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to have you bring them away from your body, so extend them. Good. Same thing with the other foot. Okay, now I want you to turn your feet in towards, towards each other. Good. Now away from each other. Good. Okay, can you give me your feet real quick? Can you pull up towards yourself? So we're testing flexion against resistance. Now can you push against my hands and extension with the resistance? Very good. And Colton, I'm just going to check your reflexes real quick, okay? So can I see your arm? Okay. I'm going to check your bicep reflex real quick. Using the small side of my reflex hammer, I'm going to check his bicep reflex. Okay. So. I'm just going to check your triceps now. So holding his arm out, I'm going to put my hand underneath his arm. Just let that hang loose, okay, Colton? Good. Do the same thing on this side. Okay. 
And now we're going to check your knee. Holman, if it's easier for you to close your eyes and hold your arms together to kind of distract yourself, you can do that. Go loose, Colton. Good. I just gotta check your Achilles here. Using the larger end of the reflex hammer. Good. Now I'm just going to check the Babinski reflex, so Colton, I'm going to have you bring your foot up from the outside of the foot towards the instep. I'm going to draw a J, and his feet, his toes would not fan out, they didn't. That's good, that's a negative sign. So I'll see how his toes went down there, that's good. And before he has him stand up again while he is sitting, he will check for stereognosis and rapid alternating movements right. because you can do things out of order. You just don't want to make your patient get up, down, up, down more than is necessary. Right. So before he goes on, uh, he will go ahead and do those two tests. So Colton, I'm going to have you close your eyes. I want you to tell me what's in your hand. Uh, it's a coin. That's correct. Okay, one other item. What's in your hand? Now, Colin, I want you to put your palms on your thighs, and I'm going to have you turn your hands up and down um, with the back side of your hand like this as quickly as you can, both hands. Very good. Okay, now, Colin, I'm going to have you stand up for me again. I want you to put your feet together for me, and we're going to have you close your eyes with your hands by your side. This is called the Romberg test. We're just checking to make sure that you're cerebrovascular function is intact. So we'd wait 20 seconds and a little bit of swaying is okay. Good. Colton, you can open your eyes again. Last thing I'm going to have you do, you can bring your feet shoulder width apart for me. Um, if your patient is a little bit off balance, you can have them hold the wall if need be. But Colton, I'm going to have you lift one foot off the ground and do what's called a shallow knee bend. So just bend your knee really shallow. Good. Okay. And now your other lift, other foot. Good. Okay. And then one more thing I'm going to have you do is shoulder width apart again. And I'm going to have you lean forward like you're touching your toes. Good. Now side to side. We're just checking the range of motion of your spine. Okay. Good. And now backwards gently because you don't want to hurt yourself. Good. And that's the neuromuscular assessment. And I want to thank Colton and Dylan for being participants in this video today. Colton, you need to come down just a little so we can see you, and I'll raise the camera up. Uh, these guys were in class a year ago, so it's been a year since they've done this exam, and I think they did a great job today. Thank you, guys. Thank you.